I want to show you a little something about taking a package that somebody may have shared with you for work with Audacity. Um, not a big deal. The only trick to it is making sure that you have a readable file format. Um, you may very well get a shared package in the form of a zip file or other compressed file. And if you do, you need to extract that and work with the extracted files. On a Macintosh, it's as simple as double click the file and it will create a new directory for you. And in that directory will be your project. So here we go, that works perfectly. On Windows, there's a little bit of a trick to it and on various implementations of Linux, you may see the same thing. So let's move over to a Windows box and take a look at what's gonna happen there. So this is a zip file, and by looking at it, it's difficult to distinguish between the zip file and the folder of the same name, except that you can look at the type in this column, and you can see from the icon here. But you may not be familiar with looking at these and distinguishing between the two. So here's why it's important. I can open it up, and it looks like I've opened up a directory, but I'm actually inside of the zip file. So as I dig in here, we can see the AUP file, and when I try to launch Audacity with this, Audacity will, Audacity will run, but it will say couldn't find the project data folder. That's because it's not actually looking in a folder, but it's looking rather inside of that zip file. And so Windows has exposed that file as if it were a directory. So here's the trick that you want to be aware of. You want to extract the... Uh, extract the file and uh, first I'm going to rename this original directory I'll just put an 01 and so right click and say extract all let it extract and you'll see this fancy window as it extracts the file and when it's finished it's going to leave a folder in place for us which it will open right off the bat so Here's the new folder that it just created. I'm gonna close that. So here's the folder that we created and we dig in and this will behave the way it should. When I open the Audacity, it launches Audacity and it opens the actual project as I expected it to. So that's really all there is to it. I hope that's helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll see what I can do to help you out. Thanks and have a great day. Cheers.